Hello friends, today we will perform the experiment of Michael's Adhesion Ferrometer. The aim of the experiment is to determine the wavelength of the laser beam. So let's first check the apparatus. In this experiment we have a laser diode. This is the whole kit of Michelson interferometer. In this kit we have two mirrors, mirror M2 and mirror M1. We have a beam splitter. This is the space for beam splitter. These are the two mirrors which are silver from the other side. Make sure you don't put the silver side in front. The silver side should be in back and the mirror should be in front. We will fix this here and the second mirror we are going to fix here. So this is the laser, we will place it here. So once again I will explain you, we have the laser here, this is the beam splitter, we have to fix it here. We have two mirror, mirror M1 and mirror M2. Okay. So I will first switch on the laser. The first and the most important step is we will first remove the lens of this laser. Don't forget to remove the lens of this laser. Uh, wait, I have to take it out. We will first remove the lens of this laser and after that we will start the experiment. This lens should be removed. Now I'll remove the beam splitter. Now I have switched on the laser. The laser should fall on the center of the mirror too. If it's not, we have to adjust. We have to adjust the laser in such a way that it should fall on the center of the mirror. Now you can see it's at the center of the mirror. Then the reflection from this mirror should go directly back to the laser. Now you can see two points on the laser. There should be only one point. That means the reflection from this mirror should go directly to the laser. If it's not going, we have to adjust this knobs of the mirror in such a way that this point that this reflection go directly back to the center of the laser now you can see there is only one point that means the reflection is perfectly going back at the laser in the second step we will place the beam splitter as you will place the beam splitter you can see two dots on the screen now in third step we have to see that the reflection from this beam splitter comes directly to the center of the mirror one you can see it's not perfectly on the center of the mirror one so we will adjust the beam splitter in such a way that the reflection from the beam splitter goes directly to the center of the mirror one by adjusting the beam splitter we have to take this reflection to the center of the mirror one now you can see the reflection from the beam splitter is at the center of the mirror one. Now in the fourth step, we have to take this dot closer by adjusting the mirror one that is this mirror. So I will adjust this mirror to take this two point closer. Now you can see only one point on the screen. After this, I will fix this lens which I have taken out from the laser. I will install it back to its position. After doing this, you can see a pattern on the screen. 
by doing the minor adjustment to the laser or to the mirror one or to the mirror two or to the beam splitter you will obtain a concentric pattern on the screen you can see you can you will you will obtain a concentric pattern on the screen i'll repeat the whole experiment once firstly we have to place the mirror here mirror m2 we have to place the mirror m1 here we have to place the beam splitter here we will fix the laser diode here after fixing the laser diode we will remove the lens we will remove the lens we have to remove the lens from the laser we will remove the beam splitter we will first focus the laser on this mirror m2 at the center of this mirror m2 and we will check that the reflection from this mirror m2 should go back to the center of the laser after that we will again install the beam splitter when we will install the beam beam splitter we will see two spots on our screen then we have to adjust the beam splitter in such a way that the reflection from the beam splitter comes back to the center of the mirror one in the final step we have to adjust the mirror one in such a way that the two points which were at the screen which were at the screen should come together to form one point so this is the observation table in the first column we have to take the number of fringes so here i have taken it 20 so i have to take this 20 fringes i have to move the micrometer in such a way that this 20 fringes goes inward or outward you can take anything inward also or outward also so now i have to move the micrometer for 20 inward or outward fringes it's very sensitive see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 and 20 so i have taken 20 inward fringes so for 20 inward fringes the micrometer moved from 0 to 21 for 20 fringes the micrometer moved from 0 to 21 so the distance moved by the micrometer is 0.21 mm. Now the formula for the wavelength lambda is 2d by n where d is the distance moved which is here 0.21 mm and n is the number of fringes. So I have calculated it here you can see the calculation lambda is equals to 2d upon n into calibration factor. This delta is the calibration factor of the micrometer. 2 into 0.21 that is the distance moved for 20 fringes n is the number of fringes which is 20 and 0.0262 is the calibration factor for the micrometer so the answer here comes is 550.2 nanometers for the first reading now for the second reading i'll move it once again i'll move it for 20 inward fringes 1 2 3 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. So for the next 20 fringes, my initial reading was 21. And the final reading on the micrometer, I got 42. So the distance moved for the second 20 fringes that is for the second reading of the 20 fringes is 0.44 now i will use the same formula that is lambda is equals to 2d upon n into delta by using this formula we can calculate the wavelength which comes out here 602.6 we will repeat this for the third reading for the third reading i will take the next 20 fringes inward now the initial reading was 44 and the final reading after taking 20 inward fringes was 75. So the distance come here is 0.75. I'll substitute this 0.75 into this formula. I'll substitute the value of delta which is 0.0262 
and I'll get my wavelength as 759.8. I'll take mean of this 3 reading and the mean wavelength which I got is 637.5 nanometer. So in this way we can determine the wavelength of the laser by this Michelson interferometer experiment.